Becoming an adult comes with a lot of questions which made me feel really stressed. Which job is right for me? How can I make money? What am I here for? I discovered the world of international business at a very young age, to be exact, at the age of 22. Ever since I got my first job, I worked in many departments and offices from consultancy to directorship of the import-export business. But still, I had many excuses to start my dream business. I have no budget to cover all sorts of costs. I still need to work and get wages for my daily expenses. It is not the right time to do this. When I have enough money, I can make it real. I decided to forget my dreams and do my job many times. But I would find myself dreaming about it in all my free time. No matter who you are, what you are doing, or where you are living, we all know those obstacles in which our dream is nowhere to be found. I think in general, our lives can be separated into two different parts. The life we currently live and the life we want to live. Or other words, our current situation and our dreams and desires. And in order to get one side to the other, we have to put in something to break our excuses and obstacles. And in my case, this thing was choosing the right product to export, finding reliable suppliers and customers, reaching them and realizing sales to achieve my dream of being an exporter. But as you might know, it is never that easy to do the work because there is something called resistance between those two sides. But fortunately now we have a solutions to this problem and start an import export business from home which are called self-discipline and technology. Today with the developing technologies and the widespread use of the internet in every field it has also changed the rules of the game in the international business world. So we have a chance to start a business from home and expand internationally. What would your answer be if someone told you you can do this with a small investment and use your time wisely. And today I want to share the most important steps which help to launch and run my import-export business. Are you ready to learn how to start an import-export business from home? So let's get started. International business can be profitable not just for big businesses but for the land import-export merchants out there to who have an egg for sales and a love for adventure. In 2020 total U.S. trade with foreign countries amounted to approximately 5.4 trillion United States dollars. Broken down, that was 2.3 trillion U.S. dollars in exports and 3.1 trillion U.S. dollars in imports of both services and goods. If you are interested in taking advantage of this booming industry by starting an at-home import-export business, the good news is that it doesn't take much to get started. It requires little investment and minimal resources. To get started with your next exciting business venture, first let me explain how the home-based export-import business works. The home-based import-export business and the traditional international business are similar in terms of the questions we need to answer as we start and then grow. But in terms, the operating environment and tools that we use for finding answers are different. We use online tools and the internet as exporters or importers doing business from home. So all these technologies help us to make our dreams come true and compete with big companies. If you check the US Department of Commerce data, the big guys make up only about 4% of all exporters. This means that the other 96% of exporters, the lion's share are small outfits like yours will be when you are new at least. But all these are not enough for you to be a success in your global journey. You have to have the self-discipline to overcome the problems that may occur because of working from home. And you should know to ask the right questions and analyze correctly your answers. Do not hesitate to get professional help for this if you are quite a beginner. Here I need to tell you that you can check out my channel's join features if you want to get help from me. Okay, I think you understand the concept of a home-based import-export business. So let's start with the first question, what will you sell? 
One of the prominent reasons behind many small-scale import-export businesses shutting down in the early stages is the mistake of choosing the wrong product. A product may look very attractive to you in the basic research, but the picture may be entirely different if you dive in depth. Proper market research must be done to ensure it has enough appeal to be in demand and therefore profitable. Other important aspects include where and to whom you distribute to. Begin with your target market. For both imports and exports, you should consider several questions such as what is in demand? Is it likely to be in demand long term? Is there a variety of related products? Can long term import or export of said products or services be sustained? Answers to these questions can be found by analyzing the demographics of the target market. In the case of imports to foreign countries, you should also research any regulations that could be in place. While it is possible to import import and export highly regulated products. It is certainly challenging. There is a little room for error when dealing with heavily regulated products. If you are unsure whether the products you are considering are subject to strict regulations, you can take help from any experienced customs brokers, as they have enough experience and knowledge. Their help may be invaluable. Now you know your market, but how do you know your product is truly profitable? Before dusting of any crystal balls, there are official channels and studies you can check in the real world. Global Edge Market Potential Index. A study has been conducted by Michigan State University since 1996 to analyze the market potential of several foreign countries in a given year and rank them on a scale from 1 to 100. International Chamber of Commerce. A business organization that fosters trade and provides training and education for businesses. U.S. Census Bureau Foreign Trade. The official source of United States export and import statistics and regulator of exports. Local government officials and websites. Seek out local departments of commerce for local viewpoints on trending and necessary products and services. However, you come to decide on a product and regardless of how well researched it is, always test the idea before going all in. Working with a sample size will give you a feel for true demand. Never assume blindly that something will catch on. And you should watch my video how to choose the right product for your import export business. You can find the link somewhere here. But now let's get to the next point. Once you have decided on your product, it is time to find a reliable supplier. If you are your own supplier, you are that much closer to making your business ideas and your dreams come true. Otherwise, you can look at other options. You can source your products from local manufacturers or you can look up local suppliers in foreign markets for the same. But do not forget that when working with suppliers in foreign countries, there may be additional obstacles to consider such as possible language barriers, cultural customs and even time zone differences. You can use an established online marketplace that caters to the B2B platform. These platforms can provide access to several possible suppliers all over the world. At the same time, you can avoid some of the downfalls of seeking private suppliers on your own, such as Alibaba, TradeK or Global Sources. Of course, using such a large marketplace comes with its own cons. Scammers can easily hide in the infrastructure of such large sites. Therefore, it is important to see that the supplier you are looking at has been verified. Also, you can use big data services that demand paid membership to reach their data. These companies collect data from many sources such as customs data. So you can find reliable suppliers and customers with their services if you have enough budget for that. After you find potential suppliers for your import-export business, you can send emails and get offers for your requested products. If if you are looking for good suppliers for your home-based export-import business, then craft the buying request in detail, state the parameters, prices, payment terms, delivery terms, etc. Finally, after you receive the offers, you need to analyze these, compare their prices, delivery terms, support, payment terms, etc. Certainly contact them directly, learn more about them, and negotiate prices. And now, let's jump to step number 3.
Once you have decided on products and suppliers, don't think you have completed the job. You need to register your business and make it a unique legal entity so that you can enjoy legal benefits, which may include tax reduction, even cancellations, liability protection, etc. To start an export-import business from home, you need the easiest and most affordable form of business entity. In different countries, the possibilities are different. I advise you to search and contact your country's business registration bureau or other similar institution. For home-based export-import business, the limited liability would be the best legal entity to use for import-export business. And if you are in the USA or you want to sell your products online there, such as selling on Amazon, I suggest thinking about forming LLC in the US. You can Google registered agents who are helping you to set up your company in the US. Okay, let's go to the next step. Once you have identified your customers, market, product and suppliers for your online export-import business and you are ready to build sales process, then the next step would be domain name registration and website creation. Establishing an import-export business can't be done without setting up a website that allows you to network with others. The goal should be to develop an online presence that gives you channels to communicate, sell products and grow your customer base. When they Developing your website, be sure to include your contact information and relevant information about your business. Okay, let's move to the step 5. start accepting orders for your import-export business, you need a solid distribution plan. So if order comes, you can deliver all fastly and the delivery will pass the custom smoothly. Warehousing is a big component of distribution and the warehouse is where you will store your goods until they reach customers. If you have just begun your small-scale import-export business from home, then you don't need to spend money on warehouses. You can conveniently make some space in your your home for storing your goods. If the quantity or size of your products is huge, you can contact a third-party logistics company. You can partner with a 3PL to simplify your distribution plan. 3PL offers the necessary infrastructure to maintain your inventory management very well and take care of customer fulfillment. Okay, let's go to the next. Everything has fallen into place and you have your product. The legal requirements have been met and distribution has been settled. The time has come to find customers by marketing your products or services. Even if you have the best product in the world where everyone is competing with each other to buy it. If your potential customers do not know about it, that means nothing. One can't run an export-import business from home successfully without leveraging the marketing possibilities. Because customers will not find you, your online store, your website or your Facebook page just because you have started your business. You have to do marketing to get customers on your business website or your online store and get them to buy. An essential part of successful marketing is an effective marketing strategy. Before choosing a marketing strategy, know your target audience. Use the research from your initial product search to help in this aspect. It will help you come up with the best ways to reach that group specifically and is also likely to show you who your competitors are. After you clarify who are your potential customers, you can use different methods and tools to reach them. In the first method, you don't wait until they find you and you find them. You can use many paid or free tools to find your potential customers. And if you want to learn more about how to find customers for your export business, you should watch this video right here and then you can write them a cold mail or you can use cold calling. If I need to talk briefly about what these are, there are marketing actions called cold calling and cold emailing in English. It is meaning is to reach someone you have never had a relationship with but see as a potential buyer for sales or promotional purposes even though they do not have any requests from you by phone or email as you guessed it. And in the second method, let your customer find you. In this method, your marketing strategy should 
focus to become more visible to your online presence. And you can use some techniques and channels for that. For example, use SEO to increase target traffic to your website and store. Create your social media pages. Join related social media groups and be active there. Write useful and educational articles for your website blog. Participate in related forums. Create videos and upload them to YouTube about your products. Use paid advertising to get fast results. I would advise starting marketing your online import export business step by step. Master one channel first, then starting using another one. Social media options would be perhaps the cheapest to leverage for your home-based export import business or e-commerce business. Alright, I hope you have got a fair idea of how to start an import export business from home now. Besides the six steps that I mentioned, some other small considerations will ensure your import export business runs smoothly. Now it is time to decide when you are going to start the process. Not to mention, if you got to this part of the video, let me know by saying export from home in the comment section because I want to turn things around for you. And I think there is a huge opportunity to do international business from home for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and learned some from this video. If you would like to learn more about international business and marketing, you should watch two videos that you will see here a bit later. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends and on your social media. I appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.